China just pulled off a stealth power move, literally. The brand new J-35A stealth fighter has officially entered service, joining the elite ranks of the Chinese Air Force. Sleek, secretive, and built for scale, this jet isn't just another aircraft. It's a sign that China is reshaping the skies. In this video, we're revealing what makes the J-35 so special and why it could redefine global air power. After years of testing, redesigns, and speculation, the J-35A stealth fighter has officially entered service with the Chinese Air Force. This marks a major shift in China's aviation strategy. The jet was spotted flying in formation with J-20S in footage released on June 6, 2025, confirming its operational status with the 1st Air Brigade, an elite unit already fielding advanced aircraft. Its inclusion alongside the heavyweight J-20 represents a clear step toward building a two-tiered stealth force. The J-35 was developed by Xinyang Aircraft Corporation as a parallel program to the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation's J-20, which entered service in 2017. Unlike the J-20, which was designed as a long-range, high-performance fighter with advanced maneuverability, the J-35 serves a more flexible and affordable role. Initially expected to be used exclusively as a carrier-based jet or for foreign sales, the decision to bring it into the Air Force signals a new direction. So what makes the J-35A stand out? It incorporates many fifth-generation technologies seen on the J-20, such as distributed aperture sensors, radar-absorbent coatings, and low-radar cross-section shaping. These features provide enhanced situational awareness and survivability, especially in contested environments. The jet also includes advanced data link capabilities, enabling it to operate effectively as part of a networked force. These sensors and communication systems allow the J-35 to coordinate with drones, ground radar, and other fighters in real time. However, the J-35 is significantly smaller than the J-20, which directly affects its capabilities. It has a shorter operational range, a smaller radar array, and a reduced weapons payload. While this might seem like a disadvantage, it's actually part of its design logic. The goal isn't to replace the J-20, but to support it. The J-35 can be deployed more frequently, costs less to maintain, and can be produced in higher numbers, making it ideal for day-to-day -day operations, training, and rapid response missions. With the J-35A now officially entering serial production, China has achieved something no other country has done. It is now mass-producing two distinct fifth-generation fighter jets at the same time. This milestone doesn't just highlight China's industrial capacity. It reflects a long-term strategy to balance capability, affordability, and scale in modern air operations. Historically, nations developing stealth aircraft have focused on a single elite platform. The United States, for example, produced the F-22 in limited numbers before shifting focus to the F-35, which was intended to replace a wide range of aircraft. China, however, is pursuing a dual-track model. The J-20 handles long-range, high-end missions, while the J-35 is tailored for mid-range, high-frequency operations. This pairing mimics the U.S. concept of using both F-22 and F-35, but with China's own industrial and strategic twist. The strategic logic is simple. Not every mission requires a top-tier jet. The J-20, with its large airframe, powerful radar, and unique canard delta design, is ideal for complex missions that require range, firepower, and situational dominance. But such aircraft are cost-intensive. In contrast, the J-35's lower procurement and maintenance costs allow for greater numbers and more flexible deployment. What's more, the J-35 may also support China's defense export goals. Several reports suggest that the J-35, especially if a two-seat variant is introduced, could be marketed to international buyers seeking fifth-generation capabilities without the geopolitical strings or price tag associated with Western platforms. Countries in Southeast Asia, the Middle East, or even Latin America could find the J-35 an appealing option if it becomes available for export. Domestically, the aircraft also opens up new deployment options. While the J-20 may be stationed at key strategic bases, the J-35 can be positioned at secondary airfields or forward operating areas to extend coverage. This broadens China's air defense posture across both inland and maritime zones. The biggest benefit of dual stealth production is fleet versatility. 
China can rotate its forces more efficiently, train more pilots in stealth operations, and maintain a higher operational tempo without overburdening logistics. If scaled up, this could tilt regional air dynamics. The J-35's range, while not as extensive as the J-20's, is still expected to exceed that of the F-35, giving it an advantage in endurance and patrol time. While the J-35A represents a huge leap in current capabilities, it also signals what's coming next. In December 2024, both Chengdu and Xinyang revealed working prototypes of sixth-generation fighter jets, continuing China's approach of developing dual-track solutions for future air dominance. This evolution from the J-20 and J-35 into two distinct sixth-gen platforms mirrors the current model, reinforcing China's commitment to multi-tiered aerial strategy. The sixth-generation prototypes are still early in development, but leaked footage and expert analysis suggest several high-end capabilities. AI integration for combat decision-making, man-on-man teaming, low observability across multiple spectra, and potentially adaptive engines that adjust performance based on mission demands. These aircraft are also being designed with open architecture, meaning they can be quickly upgraded with new sensors, weapons, or electronic systems as technology evolves. China's decision to work on two separate sixth-gen designs speaks volumes about its strategic planning. One aircraft appears to be a heavyweight platform, possibly focused on long-range strike and command roles. The other is believed to be a medium-weight jet, optimized for agility, affordability, and swarm coordination with unmanned systems. This dual approach ensures that China won't be reliant on a one-size-fits-all model in the next aerial generation. The entry of the J-35 into the Air Force serves as a stepping stone for this future. Pilots training on J-35S today will likely transition to 6th-gen aircraft later. Ground crews maintaining J-35S will become familiar with modular stealth coatings, advanced diagnostics, and drone integration systems, skills transferable to the next wave of fighters. This continuity across generations helps maintain training efficiency and reduces the learning curve when new technologies are introduced. What's especially notable is China's speed. While other nations are still finalizing sixth-gen requirements or prototypes, China is already flying and refining them. If this development pace continues, China may not just match the timeline of its global peers, it could be the first to field operational sixth-gen jets, repeating the same production agility shown with the J-35. The J-35 is more than an aircraft. It's part of a coordinated strategy that bridges today's stealth tech with tomorrow's smart aerial networks. With the J-35A joining active service, China is reshaping its air combat forces at scale. This move is not just about one new jet. It's about a broader strategic transformation with cost-efficient mass deployment, dual-class stealth capability, and a clear path to sixth-gen dominance. While its exact future is still developing, the J-35 is already a signal to the world. China's air power is no longer experimental. It's operational, layered, and expanding fast. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.